i should come here and i should admit an official guys i need not okay because i'll be in some other window right i'll be in some other window okay i also talked about uh, jet brains sorry yeah. i i gave a brief idea about what is jet brains what is or oh, all these what do you mean by this license all these stuffs and then uh, we we did start module 1 i told you what is html it is hypertext markup language used to develop web pages it is a tag based language what do you mean by tag you write any word with a pair of angle brackets in html you should use only predefined tags like this in xml you can have your own tags like this but you need to give meaning to your tag that is what we call as document type definitions so last class i also talked about this how exactly a html program looks like so this is how html program looks like html closing the html head closing head body closing body so under head you write title closing title between title and closing title you write your title in head you should also write if you have any styles scripts whatever since in the first program i don't have any styles and scripts let me comment html so how do you comment this is the way you you comment so close head open body you write you accomplish your stuff close the body close html so this is what it is and uh, i also told about client server apache what should happen what would happen if you don't use client server you should not just right click you should not just double click the file and open it all right so next i also talked about dns we went to digital ocean uh, ip to name conversion i also talked about very signed it's a common registry service i also talked about aws ec2 s3 bucket many things uh, so you remember this demo one yeah this is the stuff that we did how do you execute this well go to xam control panel you would have installed it this xam sublime you would have installed it press this first button second button only for your my i mean database applications so go to um, go to localhost make sure your service is on make sure you see this page then we did create our own folder like 7c and there remember this we had a folder called in c drive go to exam go to ht docs you create a folder called 7c in any doubt please let me know here in the chat window excuse me uh yeah go to 7c and uh, there we have demo 1 we got these last class i told you this yet to yet to be taught and uh, lab 1 calculator yeah this is what we did last class right right this is what we did with a text and then coming to this demo one uh, we we did all this and then i told you in the last class agenda i should have taught you all this but uh, due to time constraints i couldn't and today's agenda i should be teaching all these and quite others as well okay now what we will do is this one we will comment how do you comment you can you can write angle bracket not equal to two hyphens and at last two hyphens angle bracket or in sublime press here say control slash this will be commented or press here go to edit go to comment say toggle comment so this will be comment so these things we will start now okay now today's class right it starts now i believe
So let me record. You're able to see the screen, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, anyway, anyway, someone recorded. Uh, I don't know who recorded. Anyway, mm. any doubts? Please ping here. Forty-five guys have joined. And why this guy is? Anyway, I'm yet to explore this attendance add-on. Let me see later. Okay. Uh, this is demo one, right? So let us go to demo one. Yeah. Now I have commented out, commented out, commented out, and okay. Let us give some meaningful names. Okay. So welcome to my page and a paragraph. This is a paragraph. I think someone has unmuted. I'm getting some sounds. Shaharsh Nilesh. Okay, like last time, I did for uh, 7B as well. Okay, like last time, uh, I will be pinging everyone in uh, any time. Okay, so please be attentive. Example, Nagaradi. If you don't respond, what's the yeah. implication? How are you? Fine, sir. Good, good, good. So like this, I'll be pinging randomly at any point of time. I'll be asking questions, quiz, many things. So any doubts, please put it here. So please be attentive. Okay, that's that's, that's what I'm trying, trying to say. Oh, here I have got. Anyway, so come to this paragraph. Okay, first demo. This is the code part. This is the output. Okay. Now, now let us start with B tag. Okay. Now B tag. Simply write B, and the Sublime is kind enough to give me the closing tag of B as well. So here you write. Uh, this is the. This is how you bolden any content. Okay, Control S, Alt Tab, F5. So this is how you should proceed. Type it, Control S, Alt Tab, F5. Next one, bold is done. Likewise, let us not waste time. Italics. So this is your italics. And how do you put that italics in the next line? So before that, or else, if you just type next line here, will it come? Will it render? No. So what you should do is you should write one br tag. Okay, this I didn't teach you. Certain tags in HTML5 there are. I mean, there are certain tags in HTML5 wherein you can close in the same line itself. You cannot do that for. Uh, let us say I tag I or P. You cannot write like this. So only certain tags like BR, HR, input tag, image tag, all the stuffs. So this is your italics. So the line comes. And how do you put a line? So just say HR, which is a horizontal rule. So you will get a horizontal rule. Anyway, next one. Next is A tag. Yeah, A tag. This is called hypertext. Uh, look here. What is HTML? It is hypertext markup language. What is hypertext? A text which gives a link to other pages. So that is hypertext. So we'll now see. So let us say anchor tag. So there's A means anchor tag. There's a attribute called href. And now what we will do is we'll go to our new website. Uh, we'll put that link here. And uh, Close the angle bracket and then write click here. Or I can say full screen. Click here to go to or click here to visit 
BMS IT and then ems new website and then close a tag so see guys understand this is your normal text these guys but this is your hypertext if you click this it will go to this okay please understand i'll be teaching uh, so many things now what you do come here refresh it you can see click here to visit bms it and and M new website if you click here in the same tab whatever you have given here this link will be open that is this link will be open that is why it, that is why it's called hypertext now let us beautifulize this let me bring that click here to whatever next line after i tag we say br so it comes here now i don't want this site to open in the same window if i refresh it if i open it i am opening this window in the i'm opening this window in the same window right i'm opening this website this link in the same window unless i can press right click i can do right click and then say open link in new tab so i want that feature here itself can anyone tell me how can we do that my question is how do you make sure the link by default gets opened in a new tab not in the default tab not in the current tab okay so okay okay we'll see if we don't know if you don't know okay say so what you do is you write here target equal to underscore blank control s save it come here refresh it and then you press this guy you can see the when the the link got opened in a new tab so you should write this target is equal to underscore blank anyway so this is the story about anchor tag now let us see image tag so there is a tag called image for image okay before this let me teach you the convention of this please look here this is called as a tag okay angle bracket you write the tag name here so this is called as a tag and under the tag if you write like this it is called as option or i can say attribute this is called as an attribute is equal to whatever you write here in the quotes part this is called as a value so the structure is tag attribute equal to value this is the structure for these kinds of tags so let me comment that okay similarly for image the option the attribute name is src don't expect this for all the tags see for example you can see here i tag i am not in i'm not i don't have any uh, attribute and or uh, no value I can put it i can put i can have a i can define a separate class for this in my css i can define a new uh, new styling for all those we shall see that later now by default italics tag i b r h r and all these guys doesn't have any uh, attribute under value okay image src is equal to what i have is i have downloaded an image in the htdocs 7c folder i have an image uh, named as image underscore demo i have this image okay this is image underscore demo dot png now what i'll do is let me copy this name come here image so the name and the the, the file format For example you can see here the type png or or right click properties it is png so image demo at this i mean dot png and uh, just close this in the previous version that is html let's see guys now you are studying html5 in the previous version that is 1.4 html5 means it is actually 
in the previous version slides like 1.4 in XHTML 4.1 all those um, you know we, we used to separately close at the tag like this like this before whereas for some certain tags in HTML5 we can close here itself like the way we closed BR and HR okay so now let us see whether the image uh, renders or not okay so go here yeah the image comes here now what if you have committed a mistake something like this let us say image demo one dot png image demo one dot png i don't have here so will your browser render no so you can see there is no image so you can see this this icon or else let me sh let me have a couple of breaks so that you will understand okay so come here refresh it yeah a couple of breaks and this is the image which the browser is not able to render the reason the file name if you give the right file name the image comes if you give the wrong file name image doesn't get rendered in these cases it is always better to show some description about that image. Let us say there's a guy called Alt, an attribute name called as Alt. Now you should write here. This is uh, this is an image of shapes. Okay. So now you look here. This is an image of shapes comes. In which case if the browser is not able to render the image not able to render why wrong file name the image demo one there is no there is no such file wrong file name other cases can be something like this uh, you have a high graphical image like let us say an image having around 200 mb you know high very high graphics image and you want to render that particular image on a uh, let us say smartwatch smartwatch architecture may not support that kind of a high resolute uh, resolution image let us say for example i'm saying so in those cases it is always better to give a description of your image see uh, there are there are various reasons of not able to render the image one is the file wrong file name second is if the browser for some reasons if the browser is not able to render the image it is always better to for a developer to show what is that image description to the customer anyway so now if you uh, give the right right file name control s come here and uh, fi you can see here this text will not come this is an image of shapes will not come because you have, it is rendered properly and if it doesn't render let's say image demo one and fi so it, it is not it does not render it it is not able to render i mean it, it failed to render and in that case you show image of shapes okay now uh, what other things you can have you can you can play with you can say height equal to uh, let us say 100 i'll be asking some questions later or perhaps now itself hmm, what is equal to 100 so come here this is an image why because it is not there right yeah you can see this is the image rendered by width uh, height 100 by 100 now you can you are free to change let us say 500 by 500 or 500 by 600 whatever way. so come here and show. so this is the story about image tag now comes this ul and ol now comes the lists so lists so comment this control backslash forward slash i guess all right lists now in list there are two types guys okay you can see you can see here if you write something like this it is called ordered list and the same lists if it is bullets or any other shape it is called unordered list basically how do you do this you click this one two three here numbering and then you you keep on typing your stops right and uh, and you type this bullets 
so these bullets comes like this so this is unordered list this one this is unordered list and uh, this one and uh, this this is ordered ordered list it orders according to the numbers and this guy orders according to the bullets now in word you can select this and go here by default it is one two three if you don't want one two three you can have a b c whatever all these stuffs also we can do in html via uh, styles okay by default it is numbers which i'll i'll teach you all these additional stuffs in the module one's second half why am i saying or what i'm saying is this okay yeah html module one first half module one second half in css module two again html css but a bit advanced we'll cover all this stuff later how to change the default stylings okay before that let me show the default stylings anyway so how do you do it this ordered list there is a tag called ol ordered. sublime is kind enough to give me the closing tag as well so next is the whatever you have written here these guys these guys are called as list items so li sublime again gives me the closing tag of li and here you can you can type it let us say uh, the one is uh, pms it we have and the uh, second li uh, give me make sure you write the close in, in your single i mean uh, um, lower case uh, we do have bms sa and uh, we have one more bms c this is order list so let us see how it renders mm. yeah. this is the image this is uh, 500 by 500 and here it is BMS IT and M, BMSC, BMSC. So let me say a paragraph, a nice paragraph. So, paragraph. <coughs> hmm. Ordered list demo. Close paragraph. Hmm. Or perhaps I can write H1. Okay, have I taught you H1? Oh no, this I have only taught. Anyway, before this, before lists, what we will do is I'll teach you um, headers or headings. Okay, so, comment it. So there are six types of headers. One is starting with H1. Uh, let us say, hmm, who's active here? Yes, sir. Nagaradi. Sir. Yeah. Sudeep Reddy. Sudeep Reddy. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. But I'm here. Okay. Okay. Sudeep Reddy. Okay. Sudeep Reddy. Now the same Sudeep Reddy. Let me say H2 and say six times we'll copy because we have H1 to H6. So this is H3, H4, I, H6, Close three, close four, close five, close six. How it renders? Okay, you can see this is H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Okay, so H1 bigger font, H2 slightly lower font, low size, I guess. Uh, uh, H4 slightly lower, H5, H6. Hmm? Next is ordered lists okay this i have taught you uh, headings now now comes to list okay now ordered list demo now what we will do is um, 
when h1 is done let us say h2 uh, we'll say here we'll say lists demo and here we'll say order lists okay now you can see it is neatly arranged this demo ordered list is this now what we will do we'll copy this now let us have a, um, a rule horizontal line next is unordered unordered list so yeah unordered list now comes what you do is you copy this instead of ol you write ul it is unordered list so same li remains the same I change the content we have uh, bms uh, pu college so we do have bms college of law and also we have uh, hospital person duty so you can say now you render it you can see unordered lists have been rendered via bullets ordered lists uh, rendered via by default it is numbers now in the later part that is when i'm teaching uh, css somewhere here or here i'll be teaching you how to change the default numberings one two three bullets so you should write a class here here ol class you will define one class and also or you can say style is equal to this 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 uh, you know so through through the css you can change the default orderings okay this stuff by default uh, you can change i'll teach you the importance of css i'll take one simple simple example i'll teach you what happens if you don't uh, involve css what happens if you involve css what are the advantages of css many things css is a nice story anyway uh moving on i think coming to this let us let us clear the old uh, i mean the previous days stuff so b is done image done a done image ul ol done prp also it done paragraph paragraph somewhere we did yeah here paragraph and uh, okay now yeah we are done with all the the last class pending stuffs ol ul all those anyway now let us comment the image tag because it takes it gets occupied with the space anyway okay so this is the header part lists unordered lists now comes let us say a table tag okay how do you write table in html you know uh, one is you can just go here insert um, convert that to a table can convert this or you can draw quick, quick, quickly draw all this stuff so here you can you can you do get your table like this right and uh, uh, all these guys are table these guys are table body this is your table header right and what is this uh let us give some meaningful names okay serial number uh name usn place okay so let us avoid these uh, delete columns okay so now this one shankar One by something. One by seventeen. Zero 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 five two. So it is Bangalore. 
next one is two. Uh, let us say sweep ready. Something. Yeah. Three. Uh, something like this. Now, how do you now make, make sure you notice this? The default td that is the the the, the default header you know for, for a table is bold and uh, the default style for table data that is, that is the body is not bold and the heading for this table let us say uh, 7c information so this is the this is called as caption now what do we how do we code that now what do you do so you say table before that table and you write you write caption there is a ca caption called there's a caption tag so 7c information all right so it's so okay fine we got a table next next is all the rows see guys this is called as a table row there are four rows right so you should write tr table row and you you close the table row now between the first row see this is first row likewise this is the second row likewise this is the third row how many rows we have four rows so tr four rows now in the first row this bold color this bold guys these are your table headers so ph there is that serial number there is one more ph what is that name make sure you close the header for every item okay for every item in sir, you need to write that uh, 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 above that, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, correct, 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 correct. Sorry, sorry. May I know who, may I know who spoke right now? Let me approach. Harsh, sir. Harsh. Harsh. Ah, thank you, Harsh. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oversight mistake I wrote here. Good, good. Thank you for, for that. So, hmm, where is that? Uh, okay, name is done. Next is uh, you open a header and USN and you have a header again. What is that? It's called place. So make sure you write all the headers in the first row. This is first row, second row, third row, and fourth row. At last, you need to close the table as well. Okay, this is the caption now. First row is over. Second row, don't write ph here because it is not these guys. These are not headers. It is data, table data. So write td. What is the td? First cell is one. So close td. Open one more td. So next data is this. And uh, close, I mean, open one more TD, table data. And uh, this is the USN and uh, TD is this, Bangalore, Bangalore, whatever. Next one. So similarly, you, you can copy this, paste here, copy this, paste here. Uh, you populate your table values okay change to your let's just reflect your next one control s come here refresh it you can see here 7c information and it is you can see it is not bordered right so what you can do is table border Oh, no. 
on that. I can follow on Minecraft. I'll 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 let you know. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Table border. One second, one second. can go evenings huh. oh sorry yes hmm. what i was doing I, yeah i was doing yes okay uh, come here now you say yeah this the moment you write this table border you can get this border or if you want your own style that is see the by default it is it is uh, block right blocks if you want the dashed border, all the stuff you can put it in, you can do it in styles. One more information you can hear itself, you can write border is equal to let us say three. You can see here the thickness, you can write 30. Yeah, this is how it was. So, thickness and all you can, you can change here itself. But the dashed border, mm, solid border, all the stuffs you can change via style. So, this is the story about the table you can see the caption comes in the center and yeah this is i wanted to talk about this uh, we saw in word that table header is bold and table data is uh, not bold right so even the html also follows the same thing you can see table header bold and table data not bold and one more takeaway of this, you can make a note. EH by default, it is bold and it is aligned towards center. ED by default it is not bold, and aligned towards left. Here, it is aligned towards left by default. You can change it. You can change the default behaviors in your style so this you should we should take a note okay uh let us have a short quiz 11 4 36 now what time your uh 11 50 right another okay five minutes which includes attendance as well let us have a quick uh, quick quiz it's supposed to take let us say Sumit Sarkar. Yes, sir. Very good. What is table data by default? The table data by default. So... Okay. Ah, very good. Uh, uh, so basically, it is empty. No, man. What is the alignment? Where exactly it gets placed? Center, right side, where? Right, uh, so it, it's basically in the left side. Uh -huh. Good, good. Okay. Uh, next, uh, anyone? Thanushri H. Yes, See, the, the moment you answer, you should, uh, at least now you should turn on your uh, uh, video. I mean, what is that? Camera. Uh, where is Thanushri H? Okay. Well, what is caption? Huh. Today, today itself. Hmm. 
caption is nothing but table heading heading good good table in table heading that is the information about the table okay next one uh, let us say shaw shawes khan yes sir very good very good oh, turn on your camera man very good how are you fine sir fine 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 okay uh, what do you mean by a tag attribute and a value example uh, tag attribute specifies uh, what kind of uh, this we are using attribute is the what kind of this uh, you are using what kind of it, uh, what kind of element you are making ah. whether it is a header or a text paragraph something like that hmm. uh, attribute is nothing but a value like for an example image source will give me sir that is hmm. an attribute good good anyway uh, next person hari haran hari haran if you are not if you don't respond what does that imply in the meanwhile look at the attendance part these guys oh my god there are so many guys here but only little guys less guys here we we'll see i have not explored that add on we will we'll explore it later hari haran is off ah, okay no attendance kevin bijo yes sir very good where where are you man Yes, sir. Very good. See how disciplined he is sitting. Nice. <laughs> okay. What is uh, UL? Ah, uh, not a list, sir. Ah, uh, it does not uh, give the numbers. Okay. It does not give the list in uh, numbered order. Great, great. Okay, guys. Uh, I want to. I want to confess something. Uh, you know, out of thirty-nine or out of your seventy-nine people. Seventy-eight people might know all these stuffs. Okay, this is very very basic. But even if one guy doesn't know all this, it is as a teacher, it's my responsibility to to teach from the very basic. That is why I have written what is HTML, everything, all these stuffs. You, those guys who know all this, you might get bored. But uh, you know, I can't help. You know, as a teacher, I should think think from everyone's angle. the reason i'm saying a couple of days back when uh, one one guy uh, when he had to miss the class he he pinged me back saying i don't know anything in html and could you please uh, repeat so that's the that is the reason previous class i repeated a bit and then i understood and yeah uh, as a teacher i need to think from everyone and i need to start or teach from the very very basic that's the reason i'm teaching you from the very basic level so please don't think me otherwise okay mm. last some couple of questions amshuman okay yes sir very good how are you i'm fine sir okay, okay tell me what is uh, ol sir it's uh, organized list sir organized list sir. okay today's attendance off uh sorry Ordered list, sorry uh, sir, my bad. Uh, so you have like numbers will be there to organize the list. Right, right. Thank you. Uh, next, last question, I believe. Uh, let us say, Simran RP. Yes, sir. Good, good, good. Tell me what is uh, HR? Where are you? I'm not able to see you. Oh. So my camera is not working properly. Is not working properly. Yes, sir. Okay, repair it later. Okay, tell me what is uh, no. um, HR. Um, I'm not sure, sir. Not sure. Okay, I I taught in today's class. You can see here. Uh, where is that? Yeah, here we used. Okay, let me show the output. Then you can perhaps tell me. This is how you bolden any content and HR. Where is that? This is uh, bolden any content and then HR. What is this? This is a line. It, it, horizontal rule. Okay, that is HR. All right. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Thank you. Last question. 
let me say varun bhausar varun is here oh good how are you i am not able to hear you hear you was Okay. In the meanwhile, everyone, drop your attendance. I do have here, but hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell me. I'm audible now, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Did you fix your project? Huh? Did you fix your projects? You asked me. Uh, you mailed me, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I just wanted to know about the number of people. That's all. Mm -hmm. Mainly. Okay. okay. Now coming to the coming to the concept. Uh, what is Hmm, what did we learn today? Okay, what are the attributes of image? Uh, image attributes are height, width, and uh, alt. That's alternate for the image if it does not display. Good. So, can you obviously. tell me the reasons behind not not able to display, not able to render? Uh, because if the path is wrong or if the file is not present, hmm. then right. it could not display it. Good, good, good. Thank yes, you. Guys. Thanks, thanks for your cooperation. Uh, and we shall continue this session next class and uh, also also don't leave don't leave yet also um, go to notes yeah module one is all about uh, chapters two and three 182 slides we'll go to the to these official slides parallelly as well okay so that we should be we should understand that we should be i mean we are in sync with what is supposed to be right so we'll see that in the next class as well okay uh excuse me sir yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so i had one question uh, the yes, thing please. that you said before was hr right uh, yes. isn't it br br is a simple break whereas hr is it will give you a line uh, okay sir Uh, I'll give you one. Uh, yeah, you can see here. Go to the website. You can see our vision, and you can see a line here. Mm. Oh, this is that HR. Yeah. Okay. okay thank you, sir. Yeah. So, thank you. Any doubts, please. You should ask like this. I appreciate. Uh, thank you very much for your patience, and uh, see you soon in my next class. Next class, I will be. Taking the attendance in the book as well, okay? Because uh, I don't, I don't know how you trust this. This guy, this guy will give you what time you came. Example, Muhammad Abdul Wahab. So he came at this time. I don't know why. Yeah, why he has left two minutes or two seconds, perhaps. So all this information will be neatly taken down here. Okay. Anyway, this also I will use along with the traditional stuffs. Once the bit, I mean, till the bims is up. Anyway, thank you, thank you so much for your cooperation. See you soon in my next class. Thank you.